come on in. Hi, my name is Sarah Dougal. I'm the shop owner here at Made You Look. Our gallery is very special and is a Toronto landmark and part of the reason why is uh, we represent over 100 local designers. All of the jewelry that's on display has been made with love and is designed to make you look. There are 20 self-employed jewelry designers who work right on site, who are all running their own businesses. They pay a monthly fee to be part of our studio, and this is their home away from home. The jewelry that is made on site ranges from um, very playful costume jewelry, uh, all the way up to the very serious, formal, fancy wedding and engagement rings, and everything in between. Made You Look was born from a place of my own inner creativity. Uh, I was always busy uh, working with my hands and, and making art and eventually found my way into the three-year jewelry arts program at George Brown College. At that time I thought that I would make jewelry for my living. Uh, by the time I finished the course I was completely inspired by my fellow colleagues and what they were making. Uh, at the time, uh, 20 years ago, it was much more difficult for an independent artist to promote themselves. There was the the internet didn't function the way it does today, there was no social media. Uh, I identified a major gap, a major pitfall for all of these creative people. Not only a deficit as far as the creative space itself, like the industrial facilities required to make jewelry, but then once you've made jewelry, how do you get it to market? How do you get it into the customer's hands? So I became very inspired by that dilemma. Uh, lots of entrepreneurs you know, are known for sort of solving a problem and that was the problem I was looking to solve and uh, put all of my effort into creating the most ideal jewelry creation facility for the makers and the most ideal retail environment to be exhibiting their work. My name is Leanne and I work at Made You Look Jewelry. Made You Look has been here for 18 years now um, and it's a collaborative jewelry workspace and gallery. Uh, we have over 20 in-house designers here, myself included, and we specialize not just in custom work but also everything that's on the floor is for sale. Uh, we also do repairs and obviously laser engraving. So we're obviously not the only laser engraver in Toronto. We used to outsource all our laser engraving needs to several places downtown. So when I talk about laser engraving needs, that means like any sort of trademark that goes into a custom piece, like when you see the 18 karat symbol in a gold ring, for example, or when customers come in with their pieces that they want like a special message in their wedding bands or some sort of, some sort of personalized gift like cufflinks or a flask. Uh, we used to outsource all of that to third party engravers and we were finding that there was a lack of communi communication, stuff that we were getting back wasn't quite what we wanted and finally I was like enough, like I think, I think we can do this ourselves, I think I can do it, so I pitched it to the store, I said okay, this is the deal, Trotex, the best brand that we've got, we're going to get one of their machines and we're going we're gonna to do this ourselves. And we've done it for now two years and it's been awesome. Like it's brought such an extra level of like expertise to our whole setup here. The speed marker has been great. It was super easy to learn, got picked up real fast and I'm comfortable running experiments on it knowing that It'll do what I want it to do most of the time. If it doesn't do what I want to do, I can tweak it here and there to get the result that I'm looking for. Uh, my favorite thing to engrave would probably be uh, exterior rings and also handwriting. Um, handwriting's been a really cool thing to work on with my customers. So obviously, jewelry is really personal, and adding engraving to a piece of jewelry just makes it even more personal. So taking old family like birthday cards and notes and transferring it so the laser can read it and engraving that onto a piece has been really special. You know, you think about what the world has to offer and why would someone go traveling somewhere and what makes Toronto unique. Uh, I'm a proud Torontonian. I've born and raised here, uh, you know, um, really putting our talent on a platform and being able to 
wrap our arms around this theme of locally made jewelry and have uh, a chance at the public seeing a reflection of what our city is doing on this theme of jewelry. Um, so as a result of being really focused on local designers, uh, we are now a tourist destination. We have people coming from all over the world to see what we have to offer. We don't sell our jewelry online on purpose. We don't want it available to the World Wide Web. We want to continue to create a reason for Toronto to have its own unique flavor. And this is, this is part of it.